Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very interesting question from algebra. Here we have to evaluate some 1 plus a plus a square plus a cube up to infinity, where a is 36 raised to the power log square root 2 over square root 10 plus square root 8 with base 216. So let's get started by considering sum equal to s. Now I will call this bracket as b, small b, which we will simplify separately. So root 2 over root 10 plus root 8. Now we can take root 2 common from the denominator. So root 2 over root 2 is common. Root 5 plus root 4 will be left. Now root 2, root 2 will be over, 1 is there. Now 1 over root 5 plus 2, it is root 4. Now b equal to 1 over root 5 plus 2. Let's rationalize our denominator. So we'll multiply by root 5 minus 2 in numerator and denominator. Now this is a plus b times a minus b. So we can write root 5 minus 2 over root 5 square minus 2 square. So b equal to root 5 minus 2 over root 5 square is 5, 2 square is 4. So this will give us root 5 minus 2. This is the value of b. and which we will apply here. This is root 5 minus 2. Let us apply. So I can write here a equal to 36 raised to the power log root 5 minus 2 with base 216. Now I will write one property from log. It is a power log b equal to b power log a. So I will swap 36 and root 5 minus 2. So I can write a equal to root 5 minus 2 and power will be log 36 with base 216. Now we know that 36 is 6 square, 216 is 6 cube and property from log, log A with base B, it is equal to log A over log B. Let's apply this property first. So I will write A equal to root 5 minus 2 and power will be log 36 divided by log 216. Now a equal to root 5 minus 2. Now we can write 36 as 6 square, 216 as 6 cube. Let me write here a equal to root 5 minus 2 log 6 square over log 6 cube. Now we know that log a power b, it is equal to b log a. Let's apply in the exponents numerator denominator. So a equal to root 5 minus 2. And here I can write 2 log 6 in the numerator and 3 log 6 in the denominator. Log 6 will be over. So finally a is converting into simplified form root 5 minus 2 whole power 2 over 3 which we can write root 5 minus 2 
and I will write power as 1 over 3 times 2 so that we can use this property from exponents a power bc it is equal to a power b whole power c so a is root 5 minus 2 i can say it is cube root and then we will consider whole square now i will call this cube root equal to suppose k so we have to find out a equal to k square where k is cube root root 5 minus 2. Now I will use Simon's favorite factoring trick to find out the value of k. Let's consider cubing both sides. So k cube equal to root 5 minus 2. Multiply both sides by 8. 8k cube equal to 8 root 5 minus 16. Left hand side we can write 2k whole cube and right hand side we can split 8 as 5 plus 3. So I will write 5 root 5 plus 3 root 5 minus 16 can be written as minus 15 minus 1. After rearranging the numbers 5 root 5 minus 1 minus 15 plus 3 square root 5 5 root 5 is cube of root 5 minus 1 cube minus 3 times root 5 square times 1 plus 3 times root 5 times 1 square so this is recalling one identity a cube minus b cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square. So here we can write a minus b whole cube. So our right hand side will give us root 5 minus 1 whole cube. Left hand side is 2k whole cube. Now I will consider cube root both sides. So 2k equal to root 5 minus 1. So k will come out root 5 minus 1 over 2. Now a was k square. So I will write root 5 minus 1 over 2 whole square. So a will be equal to consider whole square. So I will write here root 5 minus 1 whole square over 4. So this will give us 5 plus 1 minus 2 square root 5 over 4 or 6 minus 2 square root 5 over 4 or we can write a will become 3 minus root 5 over 2. This is A. Now some S we have to evaluate. Let's evaluate. A is equal to 3 minus root 5 over 2. S. So this is infinite GP. If I will consider A as common ratio. So direct formula which we can write here. The first term, let me write here capital A because small a we have already used. A over 1 minus R. R is common ratio. So I will be writing here first term as 1 over 1 minus common ratio is this A. So 3 minus square root 5 over 2. S equal to. I will take LCM. 2 minus 3 plus root 5 or I can write 2 over root 5 minus 1. Now I will rationalize our denominator root 5 minus 1 once again. So I need to multiply numerator denominator by root 5 plus 1. 
root 5 plus 1. Now denominator will give us difference of 2 squares. So I will write here 2 times root 5 plus 1 over this is 5 minus 1. So s will become 2 times root 5 plus 1 over 4. So we are getting the divine result root 5 plus 1 over 2 the golden ratio. Golden ratio is a over b equal to a plus b over a which is here root 5 plus 1 over 2. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe and Merry Christmas. Goodbye.